Charlton Heston truly was a Hollywood legend and as ever I was lucky enough to spend some time with him but looking back over notes and footage it's amazing exactly what he told me that day when we did the interview together at the world famous Dorchester Hotel so as ever I thought I'd share it with you. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Hope whatever you're doing, it is a sparkling day. I'm not quite sure what we're up to today. As ever, we wake up and think we're going to be doing one thing. And thanks to politics, royals, entertainment, it all changes about turn. Let's hope all of those problems out in Russia and the Ukraine get resolved. I couldn't do with any more pressure, you know what I'm saying? But back as ever to your breaking entertainment story of the day. Now, if like me, Charlton Heston was, of course, ever, uh, forever, should I say, Ben-Hur. Who remembers watching that growing up on the TV? Wonderful film, and they actually used real extras, not CGI or green screen, as a lot of people think. And also, also what's interesting with Charlton Heston, a lot of people forget that he was, for many people, particularly my generation, the king of the planet of the apes. I don't know about you, but I truly believed Roddy McDowell did look like that when he took off the mask. I was a bit shocked. How good were the prosthetics in that particular era for Planet of the Apes? Now, I was lucky enough, as I say, to meet Charlton Heston when he came over to London. Well, twice, in fact. Um, the first time I actually met him, I bumped into him just off Shaftesbury Avenue by the Queen's Theatre, as it was called then. I think it's called the Sondheim Theatre now. Not totally sure. But he was literally just coming out the stage door. He was appearing in a play, and it wasn't going particularly well. Uh, there weren't that many people around the box office. This is because Hollywood stars slightly were out of favour. he just popped out of being back on TV. Do you remember? He'd been in the Colby's for a while, which was the spin-off of Dynasty, and obviously some people decided that they thought they could make some money, bring him over to London, put him in a play, and that would do. Sadly, it didn't work out for him. But interestingly, his previous visit, he was starring in A Man for All Seasons, a wonderful production, did incredibly well for him, and more importantly, Charlton was back on top. But I didn't realise that one of the things, listening back to the tapes and the pictures and all that sort of stuff, he was completely enamoured with one particular lady over here in England. Who was it though? Who was it though? This may surprise you because during that conversation, Charlton basically said he had great admiration for this brilliant lady who was a figurehead of this country. Now, I remember thinking at the time, surely he must be talking about our gracious majesty the Queen. Oh no. In fact, he was talking about the late Conservative leader and first female Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. Yes, so much in awe was he, he was trying to angle an invitation. He wanted a picture, he was starstruck. And apparently he'd been starstruck because his good Hollywood friend, Ronald Reagan, was also very starstruck in meeting Margaret Thatcher. It's amazing what you find out when you look back in your stuff, you know. And if you remember, Margaret Thatcher herself was slightly enamoured with Ronald Reagan. In fact, he was the only one to persuade her to relax and go horseback riding out when in California when she visited over there and then at the White House. Now, according to these notes and footage, Charlton basically said there was no greater leader. He was very, very, as we know, big on his politics and really did like the fact that she was such a strong person in a very difficult world. As he pointed out to me, I've been Ben-Hur, but she definitely is the female Ben-Hur, leading her country to greatness. Sadly, as we all know, Charlton's now departed this particular planet, but his movies live on for so many generations to come. If you haven't checked him out recently, do have a look, because he has been in so many wonderful movies, and as ever, I was lucky enough to meet him, and how glad I was too. Neil Sean, London.